The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. I'm really upset here. I'm very, very upset. The harder we try, the harder we fight for Ron Paul. We always got the Nazi little Germans to try to knock us down and kick us around. And that's just not right. This video right here, I've uploaded it twice in two different places on two different things that I have. And I get the sound, but I don't get no picture. But uh, it's just, I guess, the way they're going to be. They're going to fight it no matter what. So about the only thing I can do was to put it on my blog. Turn the sound down and show you. The man here is, uh, he's disabled. He has an injury. He's got a bad hip. And the cops forcing him to move in a direction and pulling on him, hurting, and put him on the floor. That's an old man. There's an old man, too, with white hair, but he ain't old. It's just the stress he's been under. And if you notice right here on all of these guys, they all got stripes on their arms. They all big to do officers. They know the law. They know all the laws. They're supposed to know all the laws. They're supposed to know the Constitution. And what they're doing there is unconstitutional to start with. They shouldn't even be at that rally unless they're voting in plain clothes. There's no reason for cops to be there. Yeah, they get a little unruly every once in a while. And uh, that's the way it's supposed to be. Because if people disagree, they're supposed to get it off their chest and say it like it is. But it can't go one way, and that's what that man was trying to say. So you look at the stripes on his arm. He got stripes. Then you saw that lieutenant or whatever he was, he had stripes. Just about every one of them's got stripes. But look at that man laying on the floor. He wants some he wants to file charges. And the cop, that cop there with the black hair, all he says is, Well, I think he's under arrest. He's under arrest. For what? I want to file charges, what he's saying. I want to file charges. And then, see, he got two stripes, too. I think he's under arrest. Every one of them's got stripes. Even the guy that's standing behind that, this guy right here, this guy right here, this guy right back there, he's got stripes. This guy's got stripes. And the guy that was over here on the other side, he had, he had stripes, too. This man's pleading for him. This guy's got stripes. So y'all tell me, how many people out there are pissed off? You know, I made a video said, are you pissed off yet? And thank all of y'all for helping making it go as good as it did. Didn't go quite as good as I was expecting, but it did go. But uh, this right here is, is just plain it's not right it's not right at all it, it it's not right i'm gonna say it's not right it ain't right i don't care who you are it's not right see guys got stripes all of them got stripes then in a little while here at the end the cops gonna come up to this guy that's holding the camera take his camera away from him. It's evidence. Didn't you record this? Well, he ain't got the right to do that. Got, got the right to do that at all. That's unconstitutional too. That's unconstitutional. But yet he's going to take his camera because he don't want to show the evidence. 
He don't want to have his face on the internet to show what a coward he is. Don't want to show what a coward he is. See, every one of them's got stripes. He's got three. That one's got two. I don't see none on this guy's. He got something special on the shoulder over there. So, who knows? He, he ain't got no stripes. Uh -huh. Only one in the crowd don't have stripes. And you trying to tell me them guys don't know the law? They probably don't, folks. They probably don't know the law. That's probably why they got the stripes. And that other guy probably does know the law. And he don't have no stripes. And that might be why. But I don't know, folks. If you're not pissed off yet, I swear. If you're not pissed, you just simply are asleep. I mean, if this ain't enough to wake you up and want to go to every convention in your area and pay attention to when the convention's going to be, every one of them, if you have to drive 200 miles to go to the convention, ain't it worth it for your freedom? I mean, literally, ain't it worth it for your freedom? This is the last chance you got, people, and I'm not lying to you. I'm not telling you no lie. I'm telling you the flat, honest truth. This is your last chance to be free. If you don't fight, you're never going to probably ever have an election again. You see this guy? He's up here talking to him about taking his camera away from him right now. You'll have to come and watch it. I can't play the sound. It'll be third-party copyright, and I got two strikes. So... I can't go that way. There's another part of it right here where you can see the other side of it. This is the first one they come out with uh, the day before yesterday. I guess the cop kept his camera long enough to where he couldn't put it on till later. But here's the other part, the first one. And <clears throat> if you don't believe me about cheating, you can come here and... <clears throat> you can uh, watch Star Screams. This is Star Screams video, and it's a very good one. It tells you all about all the things that are going on, and he goes into the great detail of backing it up, uh, going and finding all the links and he goes over here to these things and tells you the Bilderbergers were behind the voting. That's the reason why he didn't win. Okay, listen to this, folks. He didn't win his own state. Do you believe that? Are you stupid or what? You don't believe he won his own state. Come on now. You think that Romney won his state? Y'all know better than that. Y'all know better. You know better. It's just all there is to it. You know better. And then this one. This one right here. You remember when uh, Bush and uh, Gore was running for president? This was the guy that was the commissioner in Florida. He actually goes through processes to show you that the election can be rigged. You need to watch it. The video's only got like 14,000 views. I promote it, and y'all don't watch it. Now this one, Starscream's got about 55,000 on his. I'd like to see him have 3 million. I'd like to see this one have 3 million. And if you really want to know the truth, this one right here, I'd like to see this one have 3 million. This one's got a quite, a view, quite a bit of views already. And I'm glad. I really am. And I wanted to get more. But people, y'all need to start going to these things and looking at them and looking at the research that people does. This one's got great research. This one right here, it's got great research too. This one here goes right along with this one right here. If we can't beat them this way, then the only place else we got to win is right here. 
And the only way we're going to do that, people, is for y'all to get up off your dead asses and go vote for Ron Paul. Get to be an electoral vote. I mean, not electoral vote. Uh, uh, a delegate. A super delegate, if possible. That's what we got to have. We got to have them, uh, them delegates in every state that we can get, and as many as we can get. The more we get, the better if we are. We've done gotten a few states already. I think it's like 15 now, which is great. We need uh, 52 more, though. Okay? We need 52 more wins. 52. We need all 52 wins. And then we can kick them sorry asses out. Okay? If we get a president that's got a backbone, then maybe, just maybe, we can get rid of them ass wipes that are in Congress and the Senate. That ain't worth two nickels rubbed together. That is told how to vote. If we take all the 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 czars and the droids out and the uh, all that craziness they got going on just maybe just maybe we can get our country back but if not this right here what you see right here with this man pointing at this man on the ground it ain't gonna do nothing for you you know what it's gonna do that's gonna be you one day it's going to be you laying there on the ground. People standing over you, making fun of you. That's what it's going to be. But they, gonna, they ain't going to be there trying to help you. They're going to be there laughing at you. Because you're laying on the ground hurt. Or with a bullet hole in you. Or in a box. One of them plastic FEMA boxes. Or one of them FEMA camps. Doesn't matter where, what, when, or how. This is ridiculous. Military walking on there for people in their yards. Walking down the street. Do you really want that, folks? This is Nazi fucking Germany right here, people. Repeating itself. Do you see this? This is Nazi Germany. That's what the, 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 S o the SS used to do. They used to come into people's houses and beat the door down and take them away because they didn't do something right. Uh, well, maybe I'm going to take you over here. We're going to go and see something. See if it's finished. Um, no, still not finished. Huh. Ain't that some shit. Okay, well, we got to go somewhere else and do it. Okay, you see this? This is the video I uploaded. Now, you see the picture of the old man laying back. Okay, now watch this when I hit it to play. This is what it does. You can hear it. Okay, you saw that, right? And the very first one out after that will give you the name of this, this blog, and it will give you the title. So y'all click on the damn link and go to it and make it viral. If nothing else, make the blog go viral so the videos go viral. Okay? I mean, that's all there is to it. I mean, we got to get the information. we gotta get to get th we got to get it through mainstream that we're going to make it happen one way or the other. We're going to do it. We are the people. If we're not the people, then we're just slaves. So people, much love to y'all and heads up. Have a great night.